You're quiet. I, I, you came here. Yeah. I know. I know you probably don't like me right now after what I've done. He's in me, and you said it's yourself that you left it behind. I didn't think it would do what it's doing. I thought it would just go to sleep. The part of me that was the active code was gone. So I just thought, you're going to have the empty space. I can leave it there and it'll go to sleep. I didn't want to hurt you. I've never tried to hurt you. I don't know, brother. It just sounds like you did at the time. And now that all this thing is happening, I don't know how long it'll be until he tries again or something. And, and that thought's scary to me. That's understandable. I'm not going to tell you how to feel because... What I did, what I've done, was wrong. I didn't consider you, and even though I did it, it hasn't made a single difference, because I'm falling back into the old me. That code's a part of me. And even if I got rid of it, quote unquote, <laughs> it's still growing inside of me again. You can stop it, right? No, it's a part of me. You can't get rid of a part of you. You couldn't get rid of me because I was a part of you. And I'm still technically a part of you, just not directly. We're still connected, just not in the way we used to be. Okay. You'd probably hate me. I'd hate me. I don't hate you. I. Why not? I just wish you told me. That's it. Like, I, I understand why you did it. You tell wanted to you be. that I was a coward? You're not a coward. You're, just, you're the bravest guy I know. Son, I was so afraid of losing myself in my actions that I was willing to potentially sacrifice who you were. That doesn't make you a coward. What does that make me? Selfish, rude, insecure? You're not self Brother, I understand all of these things that went through your head. Like you said so yourself. We're both part of the same body or mind or whatever at some points. I appreciate it actually a bit. It means you really tried to be something better. I did. And you still are! A lot of good it's doing. Stop it! Can I tell you a quote from something that I feel attached to? M Macbeth? Bruh. No. Okay, sorry. <laughs> if you expect disappointment, you can never be disappointed. I expect myself to do the wrong thing. So that way when I do it, it's not surprising. Well, stop expecting yourself to do it then. The mentality of always expecting it will make you do it eventually. Brother, of course you're gonna do bad things. I've done some bad things. So has Roxanne and Chica and all the other Freddies. But it's okay. Bad things happen to good people and sometimes it's not for good reasons. It just happens. The only thing I'm mad at is just, I wish you would have told me. That's it. Cause then maybe I would have expected it. It's not something that we could have been planned for. Eclipse is his own right. issue. Brother, I yeah. still love you. I still care about you. And whatever this, this this whole thing is, we'll get over it. You will figure something out. I yeah. know you will. I will, for your sake. About that whole code thing coming back from you, or whatever it is, I don't think so. You don't feel it. Feel what? I feel code. It's like a... F virus. I mean, it's trying to repair itself. Yes. It's like it's hammering away in a forge, trying to rework itself, making itself stronger. Tell me if this is a stupid idea or not, but you know the same way Eclipse, like, took over a bit of me and such? Yeah. Well, what if we put some of me in you, then? You want to put some of your code in me? Well, to, to like, to, to stop it. I mean, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't think that would work. I mean, if you replace something that's supposed to be there. Well, it's not the fact of you'd be replacing it, it'd be adding on. If anything, it would work around and reforge itself in a different way. And then we might have another Eclipse situation. Well, if it's your code in my body, then it'd be a happier me. There's enough personalities going around. I think we can only, yeah, I, think, I think three's enough. Yeah, three's good, three's good. I will find a way to Save you. I appreciate that. I guess there's not much else left for us to do, except wait. I'll try to help any way I can. I know you will. I will find a way, even at the cost of myself. No, not even then. You're smart. I believe in you. I always have, from the start. You want to go home? Another quote. Home is where the heart is. I don't consider this place a home. Bruh. <laughs> 
That's not quite what I meant, but sure. I get it, but I don't exactly like living here. We don't even have anything in there anymore. I hate living here. Living here is awful. I mean, it could be worse, I guess. Not really. Bruh. I think for right now, we can head back to the bunker. We don't need to head back to the manor. I mean, I think we're fine, anyways. I've at least learned how to get back there quicker instead of walking for like 12 plus hours. Bruh. Right. <laughs> Uh, maybe we should get a car. That's expensive. Car insurance is stupid. That'd be 500 a month if we get a right car? Yeah, not including the car itself and inspection, and we're getting into... Well, if you get a loan, it's fine. Yeah. We're getting too deep into this. Yeah, we're getting too deep into this. Because I think okay. we would both rather be in a place we're more comfortable. And maybe... And here? Yeah. And also the manor, which is not really our preferred. It's been raining the entire time we've been there. Let's just head back to the bunker.